Hi, this video tutorial I will cover life cycle of a thread. Thread can go from new state to runnable state and thread can go from runnable state to running state and thread can go from running state to runnable state and thread can go from running state to waiting or sleeping or blocked state and thread can go from waiting or sleeping or blocked state to runnable state and thread can go from running state to terminated state and this is the life cycle of a thread when an instance of thread is created using a new operator then thread is in new state but start method has not been invoked on the thread yet so thread is not eligible to run yet in new state thread object is considered as alive but thread is not alive yet when start method is called on the thread the thread enters into runnable state as soon as thread enters runnable state the thread is eligible to run but it is not running because thread scheduler has not scheduled the thread execution yet thread has not entered in run method yet in runnable state thread is considered as alive and in runnable state thread is in runnable pool thread scheduler selects the thread to go from runnable state to running state in running state thread starts executing by entering into the run method thread scheduler selects the thread from the runnable pool on the basis of uh, priority if priority of uh, two threads are same then threads are scheduled in unpredictable manner because uh, thread scheduler behavior is completely unpredictable when threads are in running state using yield method we can make thread to go from running state to runnable state in waiting or blocked or sleep state the thread is not eligible to run but the thread is still alive when the thread run method completes the thread is considered as terminated once the thread is terminated it cannot be started again if you try to do that then we will get uh, illegal thread state exception which is uh, runtime exception using uh, destroy method we can make uh, thread directly to terminated state how can thread go from running state to waiting state by calling wait method thread go from running state to waiting state in waiting state the thread will wait for other threads to release object monitor or lock how can thread return from waiting state to runnable state once notify or notify all method is called object monitor or lock becomes available and thread can again return to runnable state how can thread go from running to sleeping state by calling sleep method thread can go from running to sleeping state in sleeping state thread will wait for sleep time to get over how can thread return from sleeping state to runnable state once specified sleep time is up thread can again return to runnable state suspend method can be used to put thread in waiting state and resume method is the only way which could put thread in runnable state thread also may go from running state to waiting state if the thread is waiting for some io operation to take place once input is available thread may return to running state and this is about life cycle of a thread and thanks for watching